late last year we were in town looking at some exhibitions around Rundle Street and the students looked up and said, the other night I saw some artwork up there, how do you get your artwork on the Rundle Lantern? Spoke to some people from Adelaide City Council who we later um, came to know quite well and so they explained this is the process, this is how it happens and is there any possibility that you might like to be involved in putting your artwork up there? It does provide opportunities for people to participate in the canvas, what's on the canvas, and it also is a wonderful uh, piece of work to look at. So the students would ask, when do we get to work on the lantern again? Um, and so they would look, oh, if that's Mondays, I'm gonna make sure that I'm at school on Mondays, because I know that's when we'll get to go into the city. Yeah. And I think having the three practitioners work with us, I think the students really liked that as well, that they were, I think they immediately respected them as experts in their field. So yeah, basically what we're going to do is um, give you an opportunity to put your own stuff up there. And basically, you know, sort of like it's a little bit like a big graffiti canvas that you can show to all of Adelaide. We kind of show them the basics of the program to say like this is how to choose a colour and, and choose like a painting tool. It's their very first animation and it's going to be on public display. So animation is kind of tricky, it's hard to get right, hard to do really well. It took them a little while to understand what they were actually doing and what they were designing for. Um, make a few small changes and if you build up small changes each time instead of large changes, uh, the eye, it fools the eye into thinking the pictures are moving. I think the realisation that they can make this kind of thing, that they can, you know, they can make animations and it's not just something that only artists in certain fields can do. Through the whole thing that's what appeals to them is it's something they can do, they can do these amazing things and the barrier to entry isn't quite what they think it might be. I think for students can be an outlet for them, uh, is an expression. I think it helps them build self-confidence when they can see their work publicly displayed. Uh, the benefits I think can be numerous. Uh, for children this is their language. They are so tech savvy that they can pick up the skills very easy and uh, it can also lead to new career pathways for them that they might not have thought about. Just being creative a bit better because I, I love being creative. Yeah. Art should reflect the communities uh, in which those pieces are displayed and it might be an historical thing but it also needs to be a contemporary uh, manifestation of who we are. A lot of what we do is students looking at their Aboriginality, reflecting on identity, um, which is a theme that carries through most of the artwork that the students would make. Final artwork was um indigenous flag and it had the sun moving around it and then um, it had two swans that swam by and they got smaller and smaller and then they went off the screen and yeah. How people came in and took over Australia and it's about yeah, rights so people can acknowledge like the land we stand on today is like Aboriginal land so yeah. We've had quite a few flowers come up and things growing from seeds. There's a lot of football themes <laughs> and some television themes which I was really surprised about but um, the flag is a really strong one as well. Commissioned as part of the Tarnandi festival and it's interesting isn't it that Tarnandi means to come forth and it references first light or a young seed about to sprout so it's quite significant. Australia Network for Art and Technology worked with Aboriginal students uh, to create these works on the Rundle Lantern. When I first came back from the Lantern and had shown the students photos of their artwork on the Lantern, they, they were saying to me, I've seen that on Facebook. The, the idea of a, you know, bigger than you can imagine Nunga flag being in a public space, not just a Nunga flag, but you know, their artwork as well but was um, easily identifiable as Aboriginal art, was something that made them feel really proud. Taking photos, bragging about it, talking about it in social media, it's wonderful to see. When I told my mum about it, she was really impressed. So yeah, I reckon it was good. 